pleasure to present our research for you today. The authors of the research are Yulia Mironova and Dr. Beruta Sloka. Burnout of the teaching staff in the higher education institutions and its influence on the teaching process. In recent years, burnout became one of the influencing factors on the study process in the higher education institutions. Employees are facing major socioeconomic challenges, working under high pressure, especially in the pandemic. Aim of this study is to analyze different scientific findings on the burnout in the higher education institution and its influence on the teaching process. Research methods used are scientific publications and previous conducted research studies. It is crucial for higher education institutions to understand the nature of the burnout. Understanding will help management of the higher education institution to organize working process in order to prevent burnout among the teaching staff. Christina Maslich, one of the researchers who studies burnout invented Maslich Burnout Inventory, one of the most popular tools to recognize burnout. Maslach's theory of the burnout states that this psychological syndrome consists of three dimensions, emotional exhaustion, which is lack of energy, depersonalization, detachment from working colleagues at work, and reduced personal accomplishments, which is feeling of inadequacy and inefficacy. Person is feeling, uh, person is feeling increased emotional exhaustion, feels lack of emotional resources, Emotional exhaustion is a key aspect of the burnout syndrome. Certain the consequences of the burnout are potentially extremely serious to the many people involved in the group of society certain person interacts with, colleagues, clients, and the whole institution. One of the most crucial findings is that burnout on the employees lead to the decrease of the service quality provided by the staff. Furthermore, Burnout is correlative with exhaustion, insomnia, increased use of alcohol and drugs, marital and family problems. Teaching is one of the professions most associated with a high level of stress. Lecturers are responsible for the acquisition of knowledge by students. Studies have shown significant correlation between teaching staff, staff self-efficacy, resilience and burnout, where self-efficacy correlated positively with resilience and negatively with burnout. There are six major elements which are recognized as main risk factors of the rise of the burnout. Workload, which is qualitative and quantitative work overload, in the conditions where overload is usual job condition without any change for rest and recovery. Then goes the control, where is a link between lack if control and high levels of stress and burnout. Reward, if the recognitions of financial and social rewards are insufficient, risk of a burnout and people vulnerability to it becomes higher as it's closely associated with feelings and inefficacy. Community, relationships between the colleagues with the lack of support and trust with unsolved conflicts leads to the higher risk of the burnout. Fairness, decisions at work considered and fair and equitable. Cynicism and anger can arise when employees feel uh, that the way they're treated at the workplace would not, not enough respect. Values, ideals and motivations that attract people to their job. If there is a value conflict at the workplace, employee would feel need to the field and solutions how to combine the job he wants to do with the job he has to do. Those are main risks of the burnout further influence employees' health, absenteeism, quality of work, patient satisfaction, and cost effectiveness. Teachers are working under the different degrees of occupational stresses that comes from work intensity, management of the organization, social environment, student pressure, family, economic situation, etc. 
Work intensity is a key influencing factor which leads to the job burnout, which is discussed in researchers' WU publication in 2020. Stress has an impact on the teaching staff, not depending on the experience it has. It's very important to improve workplace culture and mitigate stress, and that would be done not to the specific faculties, but to the whole institution, Tobin um, states in his research in 2020. Incivility is one of the factors that are triggering the rise of the stress among the teaching staff, which is discussed in research of the McGee publication in 2021. Chronic stress level among teachers is increasing by many social and organizational factors and beliefs that appreci appreciation of the work of the teachers by the institution importance to satisfy and to be aware of the needs of the students. Recent study shows that increasing income of the teaching staff, workplace safety level, strengthening interpersonal relationships, arranging leisure facilities, implementing burnout reduction, reduction strategies, working on the problem solving skills among the teaching staff are the methods which could help to reduce and avoid rising of the burnout among teaching staff of the higher education institutions, which is discussed in researchers Iran Dust and his colleagues' publications in 2021. Those teachers who have not received sufficient knowledge and skills during their educations are more likely to have less confidence in their ability and are thus more vulnerable to developing burnout, which is discussed in researchers Hotel and his colleagues in 2014. Teacher successful co-regulation, ability to use the social resources, correlates negatively with burnout components like exhaustion, cynicism towards the colleagues, and inadequacy of the interaction between teachers and peers. Recent study shows that burnout could be related to the gender of teaching staff of the higher education institutions. Women, uh, women obtained high level of emotional exhaustion, that demands member of teaching staff working in internet have burnout which is discussed in the researcher Hogan and McKnight publication in 2007. Those findings were discussed in academic research community already long time before the pandemic related to COVID-19. Return to the classroom after pandemic was challenging for many teachers. In order to limit the burnout management of the institution should provide further support for the teaching staff during whole school year, which is discussed in the researcher Presley in 2021 publication. Eurostat has the latest published information about the burnout uh, on 2010. It is recommended to prepare this information also in the situation of pandemic related to COVID-19 as a mass media specialist inform that education specialists are influenced by the pandemic in great, great extent. Student problems related to burnout started uh, much earlier than pandemic, uh, which was discussed in the researcher I.C. Cannon and his colleagues in 2020 publication, stating that the result shows that students who apply surface approach to learning in their studies are more likely to suffer from study-related burnout as students applying a deep approach experience less study-related burnout. Several countries have their own solution on student burnout problem, where among the leaders in economic research in this field are researchers from Finland, which is discussed in researcher Sarmera Aro and Reid publication in 2017 having innovative solutions for student burnout problems. There is a significant negative correlation between quality of life and burnout among the students. Burnout has a negative impact on the improving the life quality was stressed also by the researcher Sugara in 2020. Health conditions of the students like autism, significantly influence self-efficacy, perceived stress, and social support among teachers if compared with teachers who have at least one autistic student in the class, which is discussed in researcher Cape and his colleague 2021 publication. And it's time for the conclusions now. Teachers are one of the group who attend to the burnout because of the high workload, long working hours, high degrees of occupational stresses, student or, and organizational pressure. 
analysis of the literature showed strong relationships between the burnout and the quality of the job, what, which is done by the employee. Teaching process is influenced by the burnout of the employees of the higher education institution. And if quality of the work is decreased, it definitely affects the teaching process. Teachers who is feeling exhausted because of the high workload without any opportunity for rest during the working week would feel difficulties in preparing the lectures with the necessary effort and make as much informative as it's needed. Interaction with students during the study process is crucial part of the successful information delivery to the students. If teacher feels pressure from the students and also feels pressure to meet the needs and expectation of them, it leads to even bigger emotional exhaustion and feeling of unappreciation from the side of students and management. Level of confidence supported with the need knowledge and opportunity to develop skills and knowledge is one of the keys to prevent development of the burnout. Finding the balance between the professional and personal life, feeling of appreciation from the side of the students and management of the institution are one of the keys to the mental health of the teachers. Eurostat has the latest published information about the burnout on 2010. It is recommended to prepare this information also in the situation of pandemic related to COVID-19, as in mass media specialists inform that education specialists are influenced by pandemic in great extent. Thank you for your time.